Why do we rationalise the denominator? When we talk about rationalising the denominator, we're talking about thirds, otherwise known as radicals. These are numbers such as 1 plus root 3, root 2 over 2, root 3 over 1 plus root 5. They all include square roots, cube roots or any other root. Now these numbers here are all irrational numbers, meaning we can't write them as a fraction of a whole number over a whole number. And if we were to put them into decimal form, they would be never ending decimals with no repetition anyway. Now the last two of our examples here are fractions. This first one has got a rational denominator. The number two is a rational number. The last one has got an irrational denominator. One plus root five is an irrational number. So when we're talking about rationalizing the denominator, we're talking about changing a fraction into such a format that the denominator is a rational number. But why would we do that? One reason is to create a standard notation. So take the number one over root two. Well, that's identical to root two over two. It's also identical to root three over root six. In fact, we could write this in any number of ways. But what's the standard one, the one that most people go to? It's actually, it's root two over two, the one with the rational number on the bottom. That's our standard notation. But why is it standard to rationalize the denominator? One reason is it makes adding and subtracting of fractions a lot easier. Take this example. We've got four over root five, add 11 over five minus root three. Where to start on this? The denominators are completely different. They've both got thirds in. It's a bit of a difficult one. But these two fractions can be written in a different form. If we rationalize the denominators, this sum is identical to four root five over five, add five plus root three over two. We've got two fractions with rational denominators. We know how to deal with them. We can multiply them through to create the same denominator. So the left hand fraction we've multiplied top and bottom by two, the right hand one we've multiplied top and bottom by five to create fractions with the same denominator, which we can now add together. So having a rational denominator makes adding and subtracting a lot easier. It also makes it a lot easier to convert them to decimals. So let's take our example of one over root two, which can also be written as root two over two. Nowadays, we can stick that into a calculator, we can get the decimal out nice and simply. But before calculators were invented, everything had to be done by hand. Now as an algorithm to work out square roots, Using that algorithm, a person could work out that the square root of two is 1.414213562 and so on. Now if we were using the fraction one over root two, to change this into a decimal, we would need to do one divided by our new number 1.41 and so on. So writing it out like this, we've got to divide 1.414 into one, not so easy. But let's look at our second example, root two over two. Well, now we're taking our 1.414 and so on, dividing it by two. A lot easier to do when you don't have a calculator. And it comes to 0.707106781. So there we have it. Two quick re reasons why we like to rationalize the denominator.